All right, Cubby. Hey, it's time to say hi to the Iwana kids. Hi. Hi. How's your day, Ben? How's your? I was storing up my food. Were you eating? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll have a snack later, huh? No. I was um remembering what the story was about, and I was storing up food that way. Oh, you were storing up food because you remembered the story from last week. Well, let's before we tell them and remind them, let's do our motto. Can you say the first one, Cubby? Me? What? Yeah. What does it say up there first? Way over there. Construction zone. Not that far. There. That's right. That's our first step. Then our second step is caution. Transformation in progress. Danger. Don't stray from God's path. Sins forgiven through Christ. Notice. What should we be doing, Cubby? Building up one another in love. And stop. Give thanks for the cornerstone. What are you thankful for, Cubby? Me. Well, I'm thankful for you too, Cubby. Cool. And then safety gear required. We need the full armor of God. And watch for moving equipment because faith can move mountains. God. And believers working. God at work. That's right. God is at work. I am excited because God is at work. And sometimes, you know, we don't see God at work. But there's a cool song that I like. It's called Waymaker. And even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. God is that. always at work. So... Last week, we talked about a man of faith. Do you remember what his name was, Cubby? Joseph? Joseph. And we learned that Joseph was taken to the land of Egypt because his brothers sold him into slavery. He had the coat of many colors, right? He had the coat of many colors. And so while he was in Joseph or in Egypt, um, he was able to interpret dreams. And he so the, interpret mine? I don't know. The Pharaoh had dreams, had a dream. And so somebody told the Pharaoh that Joseph could interpret it. And so remember what, what, what were the, what were some things that were in the Pharaoh's dreams? Seven fat cows. Seven fat cows. And seven skinny cows. Seven skinny cows. Lots of grain and less grain. Big grain and little grain. And what did all of those things represent? Seven skinny cows, seven years of famine, and fat cows, no famine. Okay, that's right, Cubby. You remembered. Good job. I sure hope you kids remembered. And because Joseph told Pharaoh his dream, what did Pharaoh do to Joseph? Made him in charge. He put him in charge and Joseph had to build, he had the people build these large granaries for food, storehouses to save up food. And because of Joseph's faithfulness to God, God saved the all the people of Egypt and some pe the people of Israel. And God used Joseph to save his own family. His own, all of his family moved from Israel and they started landing or living in Egypt in the land of Goshen. But his brothers didn't recognize him. They didn't, but he, they all reconciled with each other. And, and, and so, you know, the people of Israel 
thrived in the land of Goshen. They did well and they grew. There were more and more people and more and more people in the in Israel. And then that Pharaoh died. And many years later, there was a new Pharaoh died. In fact, Joseph died too. And all of his brothers and his dad. and and But the people of Israel kept growing. Well, that's and, good. That was very good. But the, the new king, he, um, Joseph really didn't mean much to him because he didn't know Joseph. Who was the new king? I'll, it doesn't tell us his name. But he said this, look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. Come, we must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous. And if war breaks out, we'll join our enemies and fight against us and leave the country. Was he a good ruler? I don't think so because he's, he, he was sort of, he was cruel to the people of Israel. He made them work hard. He put them, he put slave masters over them. And so basically this Pharaoh made the people of Israel slaves and they had to build some things. Now we're, we're talking about building. Last week, uh, Joseph built granaries to store. Well, but I don't think that they they had to, they had to make bricks. Okay, and they had, and they were forced. There, it's heavy. It's heavy, Cubby. I know it. And they had to build Pithom and Ramses as store cities for Pharaoh. And, and so they built these two big cities. That was their job. They were slaves and they had to do that. But the more they were oppressed, guess what happened? The, the more the people of Israel grew. They, they became bigger as a people group. And the Egyptians got afraid of them. And they made them work even worse. And they made their lives bitter with harsh labor in brick and mortar. They had to make the bricks. And then the Pharaoh even got meaner and gave them less stuff. And they still had to make more bricks. And it was, they were they were put to harsh labor. Mean ruler. Mean ruler. You are correct, Cubby. And so what did the people of Israel do? Nothing? Oh, no, they did something. Protest? No, they didn't protest. They prayed. They talked to God about it. Well, that's better than protesting. It is. It's, we need to pray. And that's what the people of Israel, when they faced something very difficult, they prayed. And you know what? God heard their cry. How long did it take for him to it answer? It took a while. It took a long while. But then God sent a person. Who? He sent Moses. Moses was born. And we'll tell that story. We told that story. I told that story in Sunday school last week. Burning bush? The burning bush. Was but he the person that couldn't speak very well? He couldn't speak very well. He sort of stuttered. You are right. God can use everybody. God used Joseph. God used Moses. And you know what? God wants to use you. Me? So you too, Cubby. Yes, God wants to use you. And he wants to use me. But you know, it starts by praying and say, God, something's going on here and, and it's not good. And so... We need to pray. I don't think God really likes how things are going down here. Well, a lot of times throughout history, things haven't gone well. But God is very attentive to it. And he sees it all. And he's just calling us to cry out to him. So, Lord, let's pray to God right now, okay? God, we thank you that you are a God that will listen to our prayers. When things are hard, when things are tough, when we see anger and, and people being mean to each other and unkindness, you call us to pray. So as Awanas, let's pray. We pray, God, that you'll help us to be different. 
and that you'll help us to listen to your voice and to be kind to others, to treat people like you, like we want them to treat us, and to treat people like you treat us with grace, with truth, and with love. So we thank you, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, amen. that is the story of a man of faith. And be a person of faith. Okay, Cubby? Cubby can be a person of faith too. Or at least a bear of faith. Say, did you have a snack for me? You had a snack for me last week. Yeah, I do. Well, go get it. Okay. All right. Be right back. While Cubby's getting a snack, maybe you want to get a snack too. Maybe after the video though. Let's see what my snack is today. Oh, I hope it's not heavy like a brick. Because I don't think I don't think I want to take a bite of a brick. Cubby, come on! Where's my snack? And I don't want that broken candy cane from weeks ago. <laughs> That's what he was doing. Bring me whatever good you have for me. I my hands waiting here. Oh, Sour Patch Kids, I like these. So we. I thought you like nerds. I like nerds too, but I like Sour Patch Kids too. So let's say goodbye to them. Bye. Bye, kids. We'll see you next week.